Hey everyone, welcome back to another Exos Heroes video. So today's video, we are going to be discussing the top 10 Black Fate cores that we have. This will be an updated list. But before that, if you want an updated Exos Heroes videos, please hit the subscribe button. It's down below. Okay, guys, so this list is not going to be a ranking. This is just a top 10. So they may be in a different order, but I will start with FC Maggie. Okay, FC Maggie as is, is actually very good already. She is very terrific in the Dragon. As you can see here, Dragonite Blessing, Head Dragonite as well. And she has, she is actually a first guardian. So she is packed to the brim in terms of passives and yet they are going to give her a rework. Not really a rework, but an additional passive or two. So let's take a look at, at the new passive that she's going to get um, on Monday. So time acceleration buff. If there is no enemy with higher attack than self at the start of the battle, increase own attack speed by 20. This is going to be significant because um, FC Annie has been released and most of the players who have her already are already built uh, or have already built their FC Maggie. Like for me, surprisingly, um, my best, uh, what do you call this? My best hero is going to be FC Maggie. I'll show you guys later um, her combat power and her attack. But again, um, most players will really benefit from this. Um, especially those who have built her way back when. Limited Unleashed is her second passive that is new. So buff increases own attack by 30% upon hitting an attack. So end this tax up to 150, which is five times, which is pretty much ridiculous. And I'm not sure why they, they still buffed her, but she's going to be OP at this point based on the skills that they've added to her passive. Her S1 and S2 are more or less the same. And um, for her S2, it's going to be a burst um, with three mana. So again, let's go to my FC Maggie. I'm going to show you guys how she's built. So as you can see here, she is actually the, at the top four combat power for my team. And... In terms of attack, she is already at 10,000 for me, 10,105. So I will really benefit from this. Most of you guys who have built her have been, are going to benefit from this. So um, this is just going to bump up the FC Maggie of those who have built her previously. For those who are going to start to build her, probably this is going to be good, but this will be an uphill climb and they won't be able to take advantage of the first new passive. Okay, so next on our list would be... Uh, she also received her buff recently. It's going to be FC Ignite Anastasia. So as you can see, guys, let's take a look at her passive. So also, she's good with the dragon, Dragonite Blessing as well. She has first aid three. She is also a first guardian. And let's, uh, uh, she has first guardian passives, of course. And she has a new passive, guys. This is actually a new one that they added, I think, right before FC Maggie. So Sin of Eternity, Mark. If there are two or less allies placed in the back. So you'll have to have three in the front and two at the back. Increases own attack speed by 20 at the start of the battle. So this is actually pretty much a bonus for her. Which actually makes her more, you know, that sh so that she could probably speed up casting over spells. And as you can see, even in her S1, there's an increase. So... Um, this is going to be a burst. This is going to be a heal burst. But also, this one, this part, the special reduces damage received by healed allies with 60% or lower health by 20% for two turns. So, again, they have added a lot of value to her kit, which makes her appear in the top 10. And I've seen her being used in PvP already. She's going to be fantastic. And also, she's going to be good in, in in PvE as well. Same with FC Maggie. She's going to be used for both PvP and PvE. 
Um, let's see. For her S2, we don't have any change. But again, her kit has kind of propelled her to have more usage, especially now in PvP. Before, she was she was really good in, in, in PvE already. But now, she's going to be terrific in PvP. Okay. Next would be our little... Not little. He's not little anymore. He's grown up. Our gunslinger. Which is Jean. Jean, based on my opinion, is really a very good damage dealer. Um, even with his... Um, I think he was, he was also reworked with Sticky Bomb. This has made him, you know, very good in PvP. I've used him even in my main team to replace either um, uh, either FC Iris or FC Shell for the pesky barriers of the First Guardians. And he is actually very good. So, again, I've, I've leveled him up already. He's already at combat power 140 and he can compete with the top already so as you can see he is near garf even and all of his skills dimension leap uh, chain reaction so chain reaction and sticky bomb are actually a game changer for his kit he can actually hold his own right now in pvp and he's actually also good in pve because of um, i think his skills have um, piercing and this one is also deals 255% damage to all enemies. So again, and he has bind when you unleash his potential. So again, he's very useful right now, um, very all around for PvP and for PvE. Next would be our, again, she's all grown up as well. Our resident uh, cat knight. Oh, here she is. Okay, so for chatty, she also had a re re rework, I think a few months back. And she is actually maintaining her position as one of the best heroes for the dragon also i've seen her play um in uh what they call this in pvp tag so increased play for herself so dragonite blessing as well for her then we have your reliable cat increased defense grants barriers again so she is a very good support unit for your team um pve wise or pvp wise but only limited for pvp tag okay so I, i'm i think her utility will uh, will actually grow even more as you unleash her potential for me i haven't unleashed her potential yet i haven't reached that far into greenland in, in terms of um what they call this in terms of modifying their kit but again she is going to be good as well for um your all-around needs whether it be pvp or pve next would be one of my favorites recently since i transferred not really transferred since i prioritize i'm prioritizing X stories now is actually fc adams fc adams also got a rework back then um not for his passive heart strike is actually very good for his kit because he deals a lot of damage as well um, this is actually what is going to be good for him as long as Jinnah is, is actually with his team and the target is actually charmed. So additional damage over time. So, uh, sorry, target with charm is taking damage over time. Deals 30% additional damage. So charm, then DOT, then additional damage. So anyway, Jinnah has a DOT or damage over time effect. So again, this may be done to the enemies or to opposing teams also for this one this is actually one of my favorites uh, his s2 here his reaper sickle is a mana 4 burst uh skill 750 damage and burst of course and additional 30 percent damage if you meet the criteria for charm and for damage over time so and also resets one turn per round if mana only is under three after the skill hits so Again, he has a lot of turn reset. He also has turn resets here. If mana owned is under 3, which makes him very good in terms of dealing large amounts of damage to a single unit. Okay, next is actually his brother. Brother. Thor. Mighty Thor. 
in rat form. <laughs> Mighty Thor in rat form. Okay, so it's Thor. No, sorry. It's going to be Morris. Morris is also good, actually. Um, especially, I've seen him leveled up with Lenombe teams. He's actually very good at adding a buff. And I think his S2 is a burst spell as well. So let's take... So he has tempering. Um, increases attack of all allies again by 10. Then uh, steel weapon. Buffs uh, attack of allies by 20%. Again, he has a lot of buffs giving out to his team. Lenombe is actually very lucky to have one, you know, his his abilities on, on Lenombe because Lenombe as a team is going to increase its damage, especially in PvP. So again, his S1 is also additional attack, increased attack to all allies, 16% of all attack. And this one is one of my favorite spells. So it's a burst spell. Deals 1,050 damage to one enemy. Again, very good support. Um, I've so so far I've seen him in. Sorry, sorry for that. I've seen him in PvP. Um, P PVE wise, um, I don't think he has a lot of uh, you know a lot of uh, what do you call this? A lot of slots that you could slot him in. There are. There are other heroes that you can bring. His uh, his buff actually is very is most valuable in PvP. But actually, his buff you can use in certain kinds of bosses that are very tough in PvE. So he might be as well be be a, a little bit utility utility on um, your PvE teams if you are encountering tougher bosses and he can buff your teams with. All of his buffs. Okay. Next would be a returning. She actually has regained her form recently with uh, with North Von Frosty. I used her a lot before, and it's going to be Lepin. Lepin did have a did have a rework before, if I can remember, but that was way back. But her usage dropped in between that, but now I've seen teams under North One Frosty that are actually using her because of Misty as well. So again, she's back in PvP, but again, her utility, her utility is actually go uh, her utility actually goes further than that, all the way up to PvE. She's very valuable in 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 PvE scenarios wherein. Um, you have to you have to revive some of your team members and also heal as well. I think she is she is one of the top so far, uh, who has both heal and revive. Next, I think would be um, the other Black Fate core, which is uh, FC Legger. But again, she is actually going to be one of the best in terms of heal and revive. So she has actually turn reset, which is. I think um, this is going to be random, but this is going to be her heal, and she gives in, uh, immunity or invincibility uh, after after her revive. So damage immunity. Sorry. So again, very very good Black Fate core usage is up, and she's good for your PvP and your for your PvE PvE battles. Okay. Next would be. Of course, a mainstay. Although his usage right now has dropped a bit, but again, Ramji is going to be special because he is dark element. There aren't many um, dark element heroes that are very good so far. As you can see here, you have uh, Adams, you have uh, you have Ramji, you have Shafraken, and there are a few and. Even though his usage has gone down, he can still be used in, in PvE. But some teams still use Ramji in PvP, especially on the top 50. So again, um, his decline is due to, I think, the decline in use of Greenland, if I may say. But again, he is a must-have even in your bench so that anytime you can actually play him against healing teams. Okay, so as you can see here... So again, he is a first guardian, and he is going to be good for his nullify heals. So 
that is really what he brings and he also brings um of course his first guardian abilities especially for pvp okay next to second to the last would be i don't have him actually as a black fate core um i haven't been using linombe so again baraka is very fun is fantastic in pvp right now especially with linombe he's still a mainstay there um he is harbinger awakening um he's only used over his um first guardian version because of a core memory that's the only reason just to increase his stats so again relies on relies on rachel for this heart end so uh, resets own turn if target dies and the other one is he also has steel mana um but he has to have rachel again his damage his speed and damage are a must have for any linombe team so again he has been one of the pillars of linombe team and their success in terms of pvp okay our last one kind of went away in terms of her her what they call this her usage but again she is still she was one of the top um i would actually still prefer her over maggie in terms of manual play but again in terms of defense in terms of auto play she is not she's still useful but again she cannot time all of her skill effects as you can see here she uh let's let's take a look at this version okay so again for burning soul um one of the best passives again in the game for a black fate court damage immunity attack speed uh increase in attack speed sorry Damage immunity and the one with the highest attack speed is increased crit hit for two turns. Gain mana, three mana every round. So don't have to do anything. This automatically applies. This is one of the best passives in the game so far for a Black Fate core. I tell you guys, if 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 it weren't for this, she would not be a good Fate core. But again, it's going to be here. So increase attack based on allies mana count. So again, also a good passive mana utilization. And uh, let's see her S1. Her S1 is also perfect for her. Silences and deals additional damage with crazy Perot. Perot. Okay. Inflicts damage equal to 100% of current health. Again, fantastic. The silence is really good, but the extra damage is even better. And this one, her explosion star is going to be very good. Matches the same. Actually, it's the same damage in cost as Bathory's S2, 357, and it's a burst kill as well. So resets turn one time per round if own mana is under three after the skill hits. So again, perfect support. She just has to be used manually, especially in PvP. Um, but she is still very good in your PV content as well. Okay, guys. So again, just to recap for the top 10. There are two new who just uh, joined the top 10. You have Anastasia. You have their Lepin as well. Um, as new entrants in the top 10 Black Fate cores. New reworks that were done recently were, were are going to be Anastasia. And for FC Maggie, um, her rework is going to take effect on Monday. It's going to be August 30. So again, these are your new Black Fate cores. And they really have a lot of potential once you use them in your teams. Okay, guys. So thank you very much for staying this long. Also, consider subscribing and don't forget to click that bell icon and also put a like to this video. Thank you guys. Stay safe. Happy weekend and take care. This is The Warden and I'm out of here.